Hey Ashley, yeah. where are we at? We are camping at the Bray Lake in Arkansas. And when I made plans to come here, there was no storms in the forecast, but are we looking for storms now? Yes. I think we're actually under a warning, aren't we? Yeah, uh, I think we're in the area where there's possible 60 mile an hour winds and damaging hail. So, <laughs> it never fails. You can tell it's kind of cloudy. It's got up to 90s. It's very humid. And it's going to cool. Tomorrow's going to be nice. It's going to be cloudy and it's going to be cool. So that's that why the storm's in. But we're going to hunker down. And if it hits us, we'll just hold on for dear life. But uh, we're fixing to go uh, find a dumpster. We had some Whataburger before we come up here. And we want to throw that away. But I've got the campsite, everything set up. Of course, I did not pull the awning out as much as I wanted to. Uh, we'll probably, you know, I think around seven or so the storm's supposed to hit, so I'll be folding chairs up and uh, the table down so nothing will blow around. And we will go inside and play games and listen to the radio. We was in a storm in this the last time we camped, uh, about three hours worth of very heavy rain, and the wind never got too bad. And up to about 40 mile an hour, I'm really not too worried about it. Uh, 60 mile an hour, we're just going to have to see. I, I may be popping this thing down in the rain. We'll see. <laughs> uh, they're pretty stout. So, you know, I said, we've been in a tent, a ground tent, in a terrible, terrible storm where the wind was so bad, it would blow the it was uh, the fiberglass poles, dome tent. It would blow them poles. The top of the tent would come down and touch us on our mattress. So We were on the top of a mountain and we found out that the, below the mountain, it, it actually was a flash flood. Yeah, um, at Petite Jean State Park. But anyway, I just want to do a, a quick uh, update. I didn't do a setup video like I was thinking I was going to do. Normally when I get here, I just want to get set up so we can start enjoying it. But I really want to do a setup of this camper the way I set it up. It's a little bit different than the way the description or the uh, companies tell you to set this one up. And it makes it so much easier. You don't have to struggle to get your J-poles in. You don't have to struggle to get your door in. And you don't have to struggle to snap the snaps on all the corners. And uh, we'll get a video of it eventually. Uh, and I will say, leave your bunks in about six inches. Don't pull them all the way out. Put your corner snaps on. Go inside, put your J-poles in. Then put your door in. Then pull your bunks the rest of the way out. And it's easy peasy. We'll get a video of it eventually. So guys, when we go to state parks, Tim is always excited about possibly seeing wildlife. When we got here, he was setting up the camper and Remy and I were right here. And a rat ran all around us and we were both so shocked. We just kind of stood there like, what in the world? And Tim saw it out of the corner of his eyes and he's like, what was that? It was a big old rat guy. So, there's wildlife, wildlife here. <laughs> That's not the wildlife. I'm going to see that we should see deer here. Uh, we did see deer here the last time we were here. And I've watched videos, other people's videos of this park, and they saw deer too. So, I'm hoping we see some deer. And let's see, we do have a campsite right here beside us. And there's another one. We're in site number 25. Uh, all these, you know, is typical campsite. Some of them's pretty hilly. This one... I got lucky and I didn't have to, I need to put that block in. I didn't have to level anything. Everything was pretty level other than with my tongue. Now I slid this in there. Yeah, there, messed up my chalk. There we go. And anyway, I guess I'll get off here. We want to go get the trash emptied, take a look around before the storms get here. And if we had to hang out in the camper, we got some games that we will be playing. We normally play cards, but I think Ashley got I brought Blockus, with us. Blockus. And then I brought some, if I got it, small dice game. Did you get that one? 
Oh, well, we'll play blockus, blockus and cards. I went ahead and set our little Wolf Wise tent up again. That was really handy, especially when I'm setting up and I get all sweaty. Uh, you know, I can get in there and just rinse off in my swim trunks. But anyway, a quick look at this part of the RV of the campground. There are a few people here, but it's not book solid. They must have known storms was coming. Now, there's a Jeep with another rock wood like ours here. And we get a picture of it. it uh, the biggest difference in it is it has, instead of the box, it has the cage storage up front. So we'll get some pictures of that too, or video of that. But I'm gonna grab my drinks and we're gonna go for a ride. Maybe we'll catch some pictures of some stuff. Uh, you know, like I said, this is Site 25, it's pretty nice. It does have a big tent pad back here. There's really nothing behind us. Uh, the road is right back there, if you can see it. It comes around into the campground. Their tent pad is right there, and the pull in the camper spot would be over on the other side of that. The water is a little bit away from your camper, so luckily our hose was long enough to get back here because we did back up just about as far as we could. So a nice long water hose is going to be handy. Uh, all the power is right on the, the side that it normally is at campgrounds. Come around here so I show it to you. There's your power pole right by the camper. But yeah, let me get out here so we can get our running done and we'll be sharing stuff with you later. to get this beautiful well it, there's a storm coming but look at this it's beautiful big sky but there are fish just rolling on the top of the water right here so that's cool see there's shad out there on that point but the storm's coming but isn't this beautiful look at that guys We in the middle of the storm now. I hope this pop up floats. I want y'all to hear what it sounds like when you're in a pop up camper and it's raining hard.
that hard enough? Dan Eagle. Electric rechargeable lighter with flashlight. Has many uses. And there you go. Keep those mosquitoes away. And light them with the Ant Eagle lighter. Lanyard with a whistle. I'm trying out one of these fancy leash harness situations see if it makes it any easier walking him What you got, Ashley? I have the blanket that on X off road tennis. I it is 67 degrees here and I only pack shorts. So we're gonna try this blanket out. I told y'all on the Facebook post on our Onyx uh, group that she would claim the rumple blanket. That is not true. That is true. What are you doing right now? <laughs> you know I'm just kidding, right? That's as much yours as it is mine. <laughs> just about every one of those miles we mapped, you was right there beside me, helping me figure out which way to go. It's in there pretty tight. I've already had it out once, and I didn't roll it up as good as what it came from the factory. I can. There we go. I haven't even taken the tags off of it. Much better.
babies in the tree. They're in that hole right there. And mom is fussing at us. Well, it's Sunday morning. Today will be pack up day to head home. When we got here, Friday evening, it was pretty nice, and then a storm blew in. Pretty bad storm, a lot of rain, thunder, lightning. And then yesterday was cloudy most of the day. But it was a beautiful day, but today is gonna be even prettier. Look at that sunshine coming through the, the woods. It, the storm that blew through cooled things down. It's actually, according to my phone, 56 degrees this morning. We enjoyed our campsite here. And the campsites are not full at all. No one ever came and sat up next to us. There's several empty throughout the campground. Maybe people saw that storm was coming and decided it wasn't a good idea to go camping, but we did just fine. The pop-up held up fine. It was noisy in there. I did get a short clip of what it sounds like to be in the pop-up in a rainstorm. So I add that to this video, but yeah, we're drinking coffee. We're gonna go do some exploring in a little bit and then we're gonna start slowly packing up and getting ready to go. So, good Sunday morning. So I normally carry our ice code dual zone refrigerator in the back of the Jeep when we go camping on these campgrounds. It's just easier to keep all your cooking food, you know, all your cooking's done outside, so just keep it in the back of the vehicle and cook, you know, right there. It's easy to get to and within reach. And what I do is, with the pop-up, is right before we pack up, today's pack-up day. So I've already grabbed all the food that we had in the pop-up refrigerator, drinks and stuff like that, and transferred it from the pop-up to this refrigerator. And that way I can leave the door cracked on the pop-up refrigerator and let it dry out good uh, while we are getting everything ready to go and packing up. And uh, plus everything will be right here if we want to grab a soda or something on the way home. There it is. And I do, when I'm traveling, plug it into the 12 volt plug of the Jeep. And when I'm at campground, I swap it over to the campground's electric. If we're dispersed camping, I have a power unit that I can plug that into. We have other videos about that power unit. It's the Vector. It's pretty much the same thing as a Jackery 500, except it's Vector Brown. And it's the same company that deals with, deals with DeWalt. And you can get Vector power stations at like Home Depot, Tractor Supply, Walmart. And I did testing with that uh, power station other videos are on our channel if you want to check those out but i just wanted to comment you know if you're pop-up camping this is a pretty good option to have and i definitely would want to pull all the stuff out of the refrigerator before you pack it up to go home uh, the pop-up refrigerator <music>
we decided to go ahead and drive up here just to check this DeRoch bridge area out because it might be where we want to come camp next time. It looks like the campground's this way. Or let you hold this up there. Looks like it might be a pretty popular area already. And it looks like the campsites are really close together. It's like the big campers like to come here. They're very nicely set up have water view this is a pull through side on the left all the, the one over here on the right's also look at that that is nice pull That's through side very nice i think they rebuilt this in 2018 it flooded and they had to redo it so high water i just think there's still times that it closes really nice restroom facilities Pretty much every campsite that you're at has an awesome view and they have really nice like patios built on the back of them. Yeah, look at that one. That is really cool. Oh, that one was a handicap spot. But look at this one, it's empty. And this is, we are currently driving through here on Sunday morning. Our campsite is packing up and leaving. And this one's still pretty active. So it tells you that this is probably a more sought after campground. And most of the people I'm seeing are older. So they're probably a lot of retired folks that are staying in this one. But it's very nice. If you want a lake view of the Gray Lake, this is a campground to book a spot in. I mean, look at the back of this camper site right here. Right on the lake, you could just fish off of that. Or just enjoy your morning coffee sitting out there on that patio. But yeah, look at that, guys. You could sit out there on those patios. And... Look at the dogs. <laughs> Drink a soda or a cup of coffee and enjoy yourself. It's not a real big campsite, but it's really nice. So we're going to go ahead and go to the day use area. I it... feel in driving to this one, I feel more packed in than where we stayed. but it is more manicured than the one we stayed in. If you're wanting a clean site that's not weedy and this, this would be a good spot for you. Views are beautiful. a swim beach here and if we remember correctly back in we think it was 21 we came here trail over there. oh very nice walking trail lots of steps so it wouldn't be easy for somebody with some mobility issues but very nice and they've got bottle bottle refills and that looks like a dog shower the beach this is not the same beach you're thinking of. Okay, so maybe it's not. But it's a nice beach. And here's your boat ramp area. Nice boat ramp area.
Look, there's even day use areas down there so you can sit and enjoy a picnic. And when I got up, it said it's 56 degrees. You didn't catch me in the water, which is not that now. It's 66. But still, I've been running around in a hoodie wishing I would have brought pants. And there, we have seen people on all the beaches swimming. Well, that's pretty much it for this area. But we were so close. We wanted to be sure to come check it out before we left.